Welcome to week three in the National Football League. Don't forget to make your picks at westernslopenow.com slash contest for a chance to win a $200 gas card each week and every week. Let's get to my predictions from the top games this weekend, starting with a pair of undefeated teams in Pittsburgh. Boy, the Chargers look legit with Jim Harbaugh's ground and pound style. And boy, the Broncos, they are all too familiar with that Steelers defense. It is for real. I think in the end, though, it is the Chargers running game. A resurgent J.K. Dobbins who make the plays late. And like every Steelers game, low scoring Chargers win on a late field goal. Another pair of undefeateds clash in Minnesota. Not too many surprised to see Houston at 2 0. But boy, the Vikings, one of the big surprises on the season. And how about Vikings quarterback Sam Darnold, a career renaissance in Minneapolis. That Vikings offense is humming after a big win in San Francisco. But really, it has been that Vikings defense. That's the difference. DC Brian Flores has been scheming it up. I think he does it again against the town and CJ Stroud and all the weapons they've got in Houston. Vikings get a close win at home to move to three. And oh, and speaking of surprises, no team has surprised the league more than the New Orleans Saints. Offensive coordinator Clint Kubiak, a Regis Jesuit and Colorado State alum, it has, he has this offense looking like the greatest show on turf. 47 points in week one, 44 points in Dallas in week two. It is remarkable to watch. And folks, the Eagles, they've got a young secondary that struggled late in Atlanta on Monday night. I think it's going to be an incredibly entertaining back and forth game. Saints do enough to squeak past what will be an angry Eagles team. Saints 30, Eagles 27. And finally, the Denver Broncos. Boy, it has been a struggle on offense for Bo Nix and company. The key for Denver, they have got to run the football. Just 17 yards on 11 carries last week for Javante Williams. You got to give your young quarterback some help because 77 attempted passes in two games is too many, especially for a guy still adjusting to the speed of the NFL. The good news is this Denver defense, well, it looks pretty good, but I think the offensive struggles continue another weekend against a really good Bucks offense that's been on fire. The defense, they just can't hold tight anymore, and the Bucks run away from the Broncos in the second half. Denver will be in this thing in the first half, but in the end, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, just too much for Denver. Bucks 27, Broncos 13. And so there it is. Plenty of great, exciting, intense action is coming on Sunday. Hopefully, we'll get close to as great of a witching hour as we did last week. But go make your picks. Go compete for gas cards, folks. It is there for the taking. But that's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Levinson.